Life is all about loving, laughing, and living. You share your hopes and dreams with the one you love. True love will take you to heights you could have never imagined. Places you didn't know existed. Happiness you never experienced and desires you didn't realize could be fulfilled. You give your heart to the one you love, but one day, without warning, it can all be taken away from you, forever. Flowers. Nice flowers. Flowers. Oh, wait, I have to buy something. What? I'll be right back. Flowers. Very nice flowers. Flowers. Flowers, sir. Very nice flowers. Only five dollars. Can I have the red roses? Thank you, sir. <gasps> sir, you are changed. That's okay. Keep it. Jonathan! <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like a balloon that flies through the sky with the direction of the wind, so are the days of our lives. We move in a path guided by people and circumstances until one day we move no more. Lisa. Lisa. 
Wake up, honey. It's morning. What is this? <laughs> What's going on? I have a surprise. Pick one. Okay. No. Okay. Oh my god, Jonathan! Will you marry me? Will you? Mm hmm. Really? Mm hmm. I have very little regrets in my life. <laughs> Although short, I lived a great and fulfilling life. It's said that it's better to have loved someone than not experience love at all. But to also be loved back <laughs> is the greatest gift of all. It's this love that Lisa and I had. It's only for that my soul still cries. It's only for my Lisa. Father, this is our wedding invitation. We wanted to show it to you before we send it out. Father, this is our wedding invitation. We wanted to show it to you before we send it out. Father, you're like the parents I never knew. My only relatives in this world. 
We'd be honored if you performed the wedding for us. We wanted to have your blessing before we send out the invitations. Oh, my son, I'm so happy for both of you. You made the right decision. It's time for you to start a family together. God has created a perfect couple. You were meant for each other. My prayers will always be with you. May God bless you both. Wow, December 20th. I forgot it's just a few weeks away. You must both be very excited. We can't wait, Father. Oh, look at her. She's overflowing with love. Jonathan, you look worried. What's the matter, my son? Nothing, Father. I'm just thinking of the millions of things that need to be done before the wedding. That's all right. Remember, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. Thanks, Father. I'm so happy to be able to share this exciting time with both of you. May God bless you both. Take care. Thanks, Father. Thank you, Father. Bye. Bye. Lisa, you weren't going to leave without saying hello to me. I'm sorry, Father. I was just going to call you later. I, I wasn't feeling very well. My daughter, I know Jonathan's death has been very hard on you. You miss him very much, and I feel your pain. But you must remember, we are mere puppets in the hands of God. Everything he does is for a purpose. We have to accept that and move on. Father, but why Jonathan? Jonathan was like a son to me. God called him when it was his time, and he went with God. You must accept that. He's in a better place now in heaven. He's looking down on us. He would hate to see you cry like this. I don't know. Sometimes God takes the good ones first. We cannot question the ways of our Almighty. We just have to accept it. God gives and God takes away. We must be prepared for both. 
Do you know why I named him Jonathan? Mm -mm. Jonathan means the gift of God. He was a miracle baby. He came out of nowhere one evening. He was my gift from God. Poor Jonathan. I remember this like it was yesterday. I can't have this baby. Please take care of him. You are my miracle baby. I'm going to name you Jonathan, which means the gift of God. Gift of God. You know, at first, I was confused as what to do with this baby. Then I remembered the church had an orphanage in Pomona, run by the Sisters of Carmelita. I called them up and they agreed to take care of the baby, so I took him there the next day. Jonathan grew up in the orphanage, a talented kid. He was quiet. He went to high school. Then he went to the city to go to college. I was surprised when he called me and told me he met this beautiful woman from Wisconsin and that the two of you were engaged. He was looking forward to starting a family with you. But God had other plans for Jonathan. Years have passed, but I still remember the cry of that baby. I saw that you were in the church, so I went inside and got this. I kept it safe all these years as a memory of God's gift to me. I wanted to give it to Jonathan before I died, but now I think you're the proper person to have it. Oh. Thank you, Father. Poor Jonathan. He never got to experience the love of a mother or the care of a father. But he got to receive your love before he was called. He loved you so very much. He was looking forward to making a beautiful life for both of you. But Father, why? Why was God so... So cruel, I, I... I should have... I should have died with him. My daughter, it was Jonathan's destiny. We can't question the ways of our Almighty. We have to just accept them and move on. I can't... I can't forget Jonathan. I just... 
everything, everything I do r- reminds me of, of him. He would be very upset if he knew that you were crying for him. Would you want his soul to cry for you? No. He wants to remember the strong, beautiful woman he left behind. We have to learn to live without Jonathan until it's our time. It's God's will. We cannot question it. Okay, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Lisa, I am sending you the picture of Alexander. He is a great guy, and he's interested in you. It has been over a year since Jonathan passed away. I miss him too. But, Lisa, you have to move on with your life. Take a look at this picture and let me know. Brittany. I'm sorry, Brittany. He looks like a nice guy, but I'm just not ready to get into a relationship now. Wouldn't be fair to anyone. I'll call you tomorrow. Although I can see him no more, I still feel his presence. I feel the warmth of his body and love surrounding me. I hear his laugh easing my worries and his voice calming my fears. No matter how much time passes, he will always be in my heart.
right here I'm your forever girl Lisa! Lisa! Hey, Lisa! Didn't you hear me call? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I've been calling you since I passed there. Hey, did you get the picture of the guy I sent to you yesterday? Yeah, I, I replied back to you. Did you? <laughs> I forgot to check my mail today. So, what do you think of him? How long are you going to wait for someone that you know will never come back to you? How long can you live your whole life, this single life of yours like this? How long, Lisa? I don't know. I don't know how long. But as long as I can, I will. Lisa, I am very worried about you. You're more than a sister to me, and uh, I want you to move on. Don't you, don't you want a career, a life, and a family? You gotta move on. Do you realize that the only contact you have with the outside world, it's, it's me, Father Ignatius? The music students from the school? How long are you going to survive with a small salary from the school? You were thinking about getting your pharmacy degree. You can still do it. Don't wait for me this evening, okay? I'm leaving early. Why? Um, it's William. William is coming over. William, your brother, William? Yes, William, my brother. He's got a new job at an investment company. As the business manager there. Oh. Yeah. He's going to be taking over an office in Southern California. And I asked him to, to come over and spend some time with me before he does that. And uh, he agreed. It's so nice. I hope you guys have a good time. I know we're going to have a blast time, actually. Have a good time. Okay, dear. Take care. Thanks. It's good to see you. Okay. Hi, how are you guys? Hi, Miss Lisa, how are you? I'm good, Rachel, how are you? I'm good, I can't wait to start. I know we have a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, I hope you guys had a chance to practice the lessons we did last week. Yes, but can we review Blackbird? I was having trouble with the first course. Yeah. I was practicing at home and I couldn't get it either. Can you cover? I think it's like your prudence. Sure, yeah, well, um, start with Blackbird. And then whatever questions you guys have, we'll start from there. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Maria, you're late. I'm sorry, Miss Lisa. I got stuck in the traffic. Same reason as always. 
Guys ready? Yes. Let's start with uh, the C chord. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. You should watch where you're going. I'm so sorry. Can I, can I pay for your dry cleaning bill? I, I, I'm so. Is there? I just wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I'll take care of it myself. I'm so sorry. Are you sure? Hello? Hey, Lisa. It's it's me, Brittany. Oh, hey, Brittany. How are you? Why didn't you pick up the phone before? Oh, my God. I was walking down the street and I accidentally bumped into the sky and spilled coffee all over him. I'll tell you about it later. Oh, <laughs> Lisa, you never watch where you're going. I know. <laughs> um, did uh, William come? Yes, he came over yesterday. And that's why I'm calling you. I thought we can all celebrate tonight. You know, I know this one great restaurant in the corner of uh, Brandon Central. We can we can all meet there tonight. Yeah, I don't know, Brittany. I I I have stuff going on and I I don't think tonight's going to be a good night. Come on, don't make up excuses. You gotta come over after work, okay? Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tonight. All right, bye. Hey, hey you. It's you. It's you. You know this guy? Lisa, this is my brother William. Wait, 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 wait. This is your brother? This is your friend? This is my friend Lisa. Don't you remember seeing her in the pictures I sent to you? Yes, that's right. I thought you looked familiar, but I didn't know from where. Actually, Brittany, I already met your friend this morning. This morning? Actually, I have a huge dry cleaning bill for her. Oh my God, Lisa. William is the guy that you bump into this morning? Oh my god. That is so funny. What a small world. Oh. Okay guys, let's 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 order cuz I'm so starving. Brittany, this food is good. I know. Lisa, how how do you like it? Lisa? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? Wow. 
you seem to be out of this world often. Are you like this all the time? <laughs> Will, don't be rude. Stop teasing her. I'm just having some fun. Your friend looks like she's daydreaming, like this morning. My sweet little Lisa. She's always on her own little world, aren't you, Lisa? It's from work. Um, I should take it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? This is Brittany. I take it you don't like me. Oh, no. It's nothing like that. It's just a vibe I'm getting. No. No. I don't know. You would think I dropped the coffee on you and not the other way around. Oh, you know, um, Brittany, I should probably get going. You've been here for an hour. And you didn't even order dessert. Why are you leaving so early? I'm kind of full, and, you know, I, it's been a long day, and I'm tired, too. But thank you again for choosing this restaurant. It was really nice. Wait, how are you getting home? Do you need a ride? Oh, I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, you know, I'm sorry about this morning. All is forgiven. I may still send you the dry cleaning bill, though. That was an Armani original. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange girl. She really is in a world of her own. And why did you laugh? I was serious about the dry cleaning bill. Shut up, Will. She's a very sweet girl. She's a gem of a person. But life has been a little too cruel to her. She has suffered a great loss. No one should ever have to end in such a horrific way. What happened? It's a long story, William. A tragic love story. My poor Lisa. Her love for Jonathan was so strong. They were inseparable. Now she just walks around thinking about him. And that's probably what she was doing when she bumped into you. Brittany, Lisa forgot her cell phone. Oh, okay. She was in such a hurry to leave, she, she forgot it. It's fine, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to her when I see her tomorrow. No, give me her address. I'll return it to her tomorrow morning. It's okay, sissy. I really should apologize for giving her a hard time. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. But don't tease her again. Oh, and uh, she lives near the Galleria. Okay, near the mall. Just give me her address when we get home. Okay. You look so shocked. Oh, j just surprised to see you. You left your cell phone at Brittany's place. Uh, I wanted to bring it back for you. Uh, thank you so much. I thought I lost it at school. I appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't want you to be without your cell phone. Also, I wanted to apologize to you. 
I know I was a little rude yesterday in the morning and at Brittany's. I'm not usually like that. Don't even worry about it. I was a little out of it myself. It's fine. So what time does your class start? Uh, actually nine. I gotta get going or I'm gonna be late. Let me give you a ride. Uh, the bus is gonna be here in like ten minutes. It's fine. I'll just take the bus. Lisa, I'm going in that direction. I can drop you there. Don't worry. I won't charge you. <laughs> uh... Come on, Lisa, really. It's not a problem. I wouldn't have offered. Lisa, I'm really sorry to hear about what happened to your fiancé. Brittany told me what happened. I know I don't know you enough to give you advice, but life is too short. You can't live in the past. I know it's painful to lose someone you love. I'm sure Brittany must have told you that her mother died when we were very young. Fate gives and takes what it wants. We have to accept it. William, I know you mean well, but I really, really don't want to talk about this right now. Thanks for the ride, William. I appreciate it. Lisa, wait. Here's an I'm sorry gift for teasing you yesterday. Lisa. Hey, I hope you had a great time the other night. 
I think that restaurant was great, wasn't it? No, I did. I just, I don't know, probably made a fool of myself. I... <laughs> no, not at all. Don't even think like that. I mean, I don't know. William probably thought I was like a, I don't know, loser or something. Didn't talk at all. No, don't even think like that. William actually thinks that you're a great girl. I mean, your brother is a nice guy. My brother's actually excited about getting together. Yeah, we should. We should do that. Not only that you get to meet him, but you'll get to know him better. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. Hi, sis. Hey, William. I'm glad you made it. So, I brought my dry cleaning bill for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you know, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'll be right back. So, Lisa, I got a pass to the musical at the Man Theater today. I don't have any friends in town. I won't love it if I go by myself. I read the reviews. It sounds good. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Are you free this evening? No... I kind of have a lot of work to do tonight. Um, maybe some other time I can give you a call and we can meet up. Okay. I thought you may enjoy the show, but... If you feel better this evening, call me back. I'll come pick you up. Okay? All right. Hey, hey, hey. I hey, hope sis. you guys are having a great conversation here. We are. Yeah, you know, um, I should get going. I I have stuff. Wait, um, we're actually leaving too, so why don't we all head out? Bye, Lisa. Bye. Hey, why don't you call me tomorrow? Okay.
hear me? It's Jonathan. I miss you so much. I'm here with you. Look at me. Talk to me. Lisa, I was waiting for you. I have something I wanted to talk to you about. Do you have a few minutes? William, I'm not really in the mood to talk today. Can we maybe meet up another day or? Come on, Lisa. You know I'm leaving town in two days. I just want to talk to you about something before I leave. I'll drop you at the house in an hour. Pretty please? William. Fine. Lisa, I have seen many women in my life, but never ever have I felt so close to anyone before. The loyalty you still show for Jonathan is admirable, but you have to live for the future. Lisa, you have to forget your past. William, I don't know if you know the entire story, but the day that Jonathan died, he was buying flowers for me. He was so excited about the wedding that he wasn't even paying attention to where he was going. I like you, Will, but I could never be with you. I can't go what I went through with Jonathan again. I'm just slowly starting to accept that. I can't. Come on, Lisa. Don't you want to live again? I don't know Jonathan but I know he would not want you to be punishing yourself like this. Lisa, I really care about you, and I want to be the one who makes you happy. But why me, Will? I mean, you hardly even know me. What does time matter when the heart knows? But to be honest with you, I have known you for years. How? I mean, we met last week. My picture, where did you get this from? I was really homesick when I left for the two-year project in New York. Brittany used to send me pictures of my family, 
sometimes with her friends. One day she sent me pictures of her trip to Bear Mountain. I remember that trip. I remember looking at this picture and being mesmerized by her beautiful smile. I don't know how it happened, but I started to save your pictures and looked forward to each new mail from Brittany, hoping there was a picture of you in it. I was eager to meet this friend of Brittany's who had stole my heart before I ever even saw her. I have to start at my new office on Friday. I don't know when we'll be able to meet again. Before I start my work, I wanted to see how things stand between us. Actually, if there is even an us. Lisa, can you forget your past and try to start a new life with me? I know it's sudden. I know we haven't known each other very long, but... But I feel like I've known you forever. I've waited a long time to meet you, Lisa. Before I leave, I have to ask you something. Something very important. Tell me, Lisa, will you marry me? William, thank you so much for the ride. So is this it? Are you saying goodbye? William, I like you, but I, I can't forget about Jonathan. Sorry. I don't want to force you, Lisa, but I care very deeply about you. I want us to be together and start a new life. I'm sorry you're not willing to take that step with me. I have to start at my new office Friday. I'm moving out of the apartment tomorrow. Lisa, I hope one day you'll come back to reality. If ever you change your mind, you have my number. You can always call me, anytime. Please give us a chance, Lisa. Well, you're, you're a sweet guy, but you deserve an amazing life. And 
And I, I, I just, I can't be a part of that right now. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Lisa, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know how to make you understand. Goodbye, William. Take care. I wish you all the best. Bye. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Lisa, happy birthday to you. As much as it pains me to let go, I can't continue to live like this. I have been wasting away each day hoping to pass the time until I can be with Jonathan. But I need to move on. I have to live for myself and for the dreams we had. 
I am sure this is what he would have wanted me to do. I have to move on. presence that prevents her from moving on? Is it my presence that haunts her memories? <laughs> I caused the sadness in her eyes. I don't want to continue to pee the pain in her life. It's a change. It has to change. Jonathan, I don't know if you can hear me, but I love you, and I always will.
满了。With a heart full of love, I'm leaving my Lisa forever. My time on this earth is ended. I don't belong to this world anymore. I take only the memories of our love with me as I leave. It is said that souls are the stars in the sky, shining bright and watching over their loved ones. If that is true, I will be the brightest star in the sky, watching over my beloved Lisa. I will wait for the day when Lisa and I can be together again, once more. Bless me, Father. I, I have sinned. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I think I have wronged my Jonathan and God. I fear that I have become attracted to another man other than Jonathan. Please forgive me, Father. I know it is wrong. You have done nothing wrong, my child. Say the Lord's Prayer and pray to Mother Mary for guidance and direction. God bless you. How are you doing, my child? I'm doing okay, Father. It's just there's a lot on my mind right now. I know, Lisa. We can't change our situations. 
we have to accept the life that the Lord has so graciously given us. I'm trying, Father. You know, it's not wrong to move on and have a new love in your life. You're young. You should have a family. You have to forget Jonathan. You have to forget your past. Father, I am not in love with William. William is just a friend. I, I am not in love with him. I don't think that I would ever be able to be in another relationship now or ever again. I, I, I can't forget about Jonathan. Well, I know Jonathan would not want you to live that way, my daughter. He wants you to move on and be happy. I know this for a fact because he and I talked at length two days before he died. You know, to understand Jonathan, you got to know about how he grew up in the orphanage. He was very quiet, a silent child a bit gloomy, and he didn't have many friends. You know, he was always worried that something was going to happen to the people that he knew or that people were going to leave him. You know, when he was 12, the orphanage called me and said he'd been admitted to the hospital. I rushed over there, and I said, Jonathan, what's the matter? And Jonathan asked me if I knew anything about his mother, whether she was tall and had blue eyes. And I said, why? Why do you need to know, Jonathan? He says, Father, I keep seeing a tall, blue-eyed lady in my dreams. And I said, Jonathan, it's only a dream. I told him you should pray to our mother Mary, who's really the mother of us all, and that everything would be okay. But you know what happened? Two days before he died, I saw him in the church. I saw him in the church, praying to the statue of our mother. And he looked very worried. Jonathan. Hi, Father. You look stressed, my son. Why are you worried? Father. Do you remember a few years back? I asked you if you knew a tall, blue-eyed woman. I, I remember when you were sick in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. You told me to pray to Mother Mary if I had the dream. Mother Mary will always protect you. What made you think of that now? I saw the same blue-eyed lady in my dreams recently. She was waving her hands to me as if she was inviting me to come to her. Uh, 
I'm worried, Father. I feel like the dream is a sign of something, you know? A warning, maybe. What, what sign? I don't know, my father. I feel like she's inviting me to her. Jonathan, nobody's inviting you anywhere. The only inviting anybody's thinking about is probably Lisa's thinking about who she's going to be inviting to your wedding. No, but seriously, Father, I'm worried. I'm worried about that dream. I just... I just feel something's going to happen to me. Jonathan, you must believe in God. Everything he does, he does for a purpose. Everything that happens is meant to be. Yeah, but I'm worried about Lisa. Father, I don't want to lose or leave my Lisa. I love her so much. Jonathan, stop. Nothing's going to happen to Lisa. You must think more positively, my son. I know, I... Place your faith in God. Yeah, I know. Let me pray for you, my son. I know. Probably just being silly. Lord, help us. Make your will for Jonathan. God, be good to Jonathan and help Jonathan. In the name of the Son, amen. Father, you know you're my only relative in this world. You're like the father I never had. I want you to do a favor for me. What favor is that, my son? If something happens to me. Please take care of Lisa. You should tell her that she shouldn't waste her life on me. She should move on with her life. Tell Lisa that I loved her so much. I will, Jonathan, but nothing's going to happen to you or Lisa. God bless you, my son. Lisa, Jonathan loved you dearly. He wanted you to move on. He wanted you to be able to start over. He would want you to start a new life. I don't know, Father. I think you should call this young man that you're obviously in love with. Lisa, to find somebody that understands what you've been through is a blessing. Jonathan would want you to take advantage of that. I mean, I just don't think that I could ever replace Jonathan. I just, I can't, I can't forget about him. Okay, but let me ask you something before you go. And I want you to be very honest mm -hmm. with me.
Does this young man make you happy? I don't know. I mean... I understand your reluctance, my daughter, but you won't be betraying Jonathan. He wants you to have a good life. It's okay to like someone else. Jonathan would want you to do this. But let me ask you, do you love this man? He is considerate and for the first time since Jonathan's death, I feel safe around him. I never thought that I would feel this before, but I think I like him. So then there's no problem. You should go with this. You should follow your heart, my daughter. See where it leads you. Lisa, you should start a new life. It is what Jonathan wanted you to do for him. Father, please pray for me. God bless you, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Take care. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's me. Lisa, is that you? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? It's just that you sound so happy. That's because I am. Any particular reason? Uh, can I meet you today? I thought you'd never ask. Sure. Why don't we meet for dinner? That would be amazing, but can we meet up at the park first? Okay. I'll pick you up at six. Actually, uh, can I meet you there? Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. What has gotten into you? Um, nothing. Can I talk to you for a little bit? I, I know you're playing basketball, but... Can I talk to you? Of course. What's going on? Um... Okay, so... I was thinking about us a lot lately, and... Shoot, I don't know what to say. Um, I like you, and I like being with you. William, I 
don't want to be alone anymore. I want us to try and see what we have. I, I just... I don't know, I was afraid I was going to lose you. Lisa, I'm not going anywhere. I just want to be with you. Always. I love you, Lisa. so weird. You know, the time has gone by so fast. I feel like you just moved here yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? You're really quiet. Nothing. Why don't we sit down? Okay. Will. William, what is wrong? Remember when I told you my company was doing some restructuring? Yeah. Well, as part of the restructuring, I've been promoted to vice president of the finance department. Will, that's awesome. That's such good news. They want me to move to New York. Permanently. I don't know what to do. Well, y you should go. What about us? What about us? I mean, you, you can come and visit, and we can talk on the phone, and... Um, um, you know what? Uh, I actually have to go right now because I, I have an Lisa, appointment. stop it. I know what you're doing. I'm not going anywhere. What do you mean? You have to go. Let me finish. I'm not going anywhere without you.
Lisa, these past few months have been like a dream to me. <laughs> you have made me so happy. Happier than I ever thought I could be. I love you, Lisa. Will you marry me? Well, we don't have to do this right now. I mean, just because you're moving. No, that's not why I'm asking you, Lisa. I love you, and I don't want to be without you. Will you marry me, Lisa? Will you? Will you? Of course. Yeah, of course I'll marry you. Hey you guys, how is everyone? What's going on? Why why is everyone so quiet? Miss Lisa, is it true? Are you leaving us? Yeah, actually, I... I am. I'm gonna miss you, Miss Lisa. I'm gonna miss you, too. We're all gonna miss you. Do you really have to go? I'm gonna miss you guys, too. You guys are... are more than students to me. You guys are like family. I'd hate to leave you guys. You know, you guys are exceptional musicians. God gave us these amazing talents. So we have to use them. Even when I'm gone, you guys have to continue. gonna miss you guys so much. Thank you for everything you did for us. Make sure you should visit us. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna think about you guys always. I'll give you guys my address and I expect all of you guys to write to me. I want to know how things are going. I'm gonna miss you, Miss Lisa. Oh, Rach. Hey, I'm gonna come and visit you guys, okay? Okay.
Jonathan. It's been so hard since you've gone. I never thought I would have to live without you. I feel so lost and lonely. I'm trying to move on, but I miss you so much. I will never forget you. You will always be in my heart. I will always love you. I have to get something. What? We put everything in the trunk. Hold on, I'll be right back. God. Oh my god. Hello? Yeah, there's been an accident. Uh, we need an ambulance. Somebody's been hit. I, I, I hit a woman with my car. Lisa. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my 
Sure, I'll stay in the line. Lisa. Oh, my God, Lisa. Lisa. Oh, my God. No. Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 Lisa. No! No! Lisa! Please, Lisa, come back! Lisa, don't leave me! Oh my god, Lisa, don't leave me! Lisa, don't leave me! Please come back! While I loved William with all my heart, my soul still yearned for Jonathan, and it is to him that I go now. Lisa! Jonathan! 